Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. Long, uh, no, Legendary Iron Man. My exquisite timing, actually, plus some um, dark events on top of it. My name is Saiken, and we're going to play the Advent Black Side mission, which is going to be pretty much a slugfest on Legendary. It's easy to end up with uh, 20 to 30 enemies there. Bad news for us is we're not having any squad size upgrades. We're going in with. Um, uh, ballistic weapons we have no upgraded armor whatsoever and our highest ranks are sergeants in uh, one corporal so not particularly the team that you would normally take on this mission but um, I guess this is uh, now the first time but we're running into an actual kind of test whether or not this is going to be a success uh, successful mission overall we got remote start and uh, we got stealth with wrath uh, so that would be fine divat here is having a flashbang for potential mind control we only got two explosives and one charge of healing and that's about it since uh, the specialist here is unfortunately only a squaddy and our actual specialist haywire is still out for eight days and i don't want to wait we gotta deal with it just uh, like that. No change. Um, let's just double check. I think we got all of the weapons optimized. Yeah, couldn't really get anything else. So that is it. Let's see if we're going to be successful. We gotta play some clean XCOM here and we really need to uh, try to find the right chances. Because this here is going to be pretty hardcore. All right, here we go. We just landed. Unfortunately, uh, if we if we were to lose this mission, we would be in a really really tough spot. Can't just call the Sky Ranger for evac here as well. So we got to do all we can in our power to not be spotted out. Let's start with our Reaper. We're not in a hurry, so might as well take it slow. Always block the ladders so that no one runs into you. And we've seen the first pack. This here is, by the way, pretty damn nice because those towers have a massive explosion range. Um, if anyone comes even remotely close, we should be fine. Moving up. Moving up and Divat takes the high ground, the best spot here. Okay, I'm expecting about 20 to 30. Hard to tell how many enemies we're actually going to see. It's really not that easy. The remote start here should deal with both of them. Nice. Are we far enough away though? No, we're not. We would be, of course, in the middle of the explosion. But no need to sweat it. Now we're no longer in the explosion. And that's 12 points of damage. See you later, guys. Take care. Wrath has just struck again. Good job, buddy. Good job. Heading out. Got some hostiles grouped over here. All right, Overwatch, we're, we're still in concealment, so uh, we shouldn't trigger any Overwatch shots. They are getting a bit closer to the car, which is fantastic. If they stay somewhere in the proximity of the car, we can use another remote uh, start next turn, because it has one turn cooldown. Ok, 
Good. Getting into full cover. So far, so good. Just need to stand somewhat near a car. Yeah, not exactly close enough. But they will eventually get a bit closer. I'll just stay over here for now. Those guys hopefully walk right next to a car. Yeah, perfect. That's great. Okay, come on. Stop right there. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I definitely can get the stun lancer. Not sure if I can also get the sector. Probably. That's another, like, what? 12 points of damage right there. Perfect. Good. So reloading. Just to be efficient with our time. And there we go. That's the second remote start. Four enemies down and we haven't even lost our concealment. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. And so far so good. We do have more cars over here. I am on the move. Which means Wrath will try to lure more of the patrols into the range of cars and we're just going to try to remote start our way through that mission and somewhat cheese our way through that so that's uh, this can be exploded this here can be exploded as well a couple of explosion uh, explosives over here probably need to find a good position over here and then just wait for the patrols usually uh, the mission has around uh, three to four packs that patrol the strength of the pack is determined just by the month I think I've never been in that mission that early, so it very well might be that we're only finding uh, packs of twos for now. As you order, Commander. Not sure if that is worth um, getting rid of our concealment. The answer is probably no. Let's do this. I'll just switch sides for now. Because there might be another pack coming from here. I just want to make sure that those three are safe and our uh, sniper divot is not accidental, accidentally being surprised. So we got two remote starts right here. Very nice positioning. Let's just continue to look for potential enemies. That is, by the way, very, very good. Because we can simply lob a grenade up here and kill both of them at the same time. Or, not even waste a grenade, but use our sniper to do the dirty deed. I'm on it. But before we do that, I'd like to get rid of uh, the remaining packs. We're going to reposition ourselves up here. In order to do that, just want to make sure everything is safe. I go where you tell me. Another potential remote start. Fantastic. Okay, so our potential way up there would be this letter and this letter and then having the high ground. In order to do that, let's shortly advance. 
all the way to here and divert sprints all the way to here. The rounds when you are in transition between positions are usually the ones that are most dangerous because you can be caught on the wrong foot. I would always advise if you don't have the concealment advantage that I'm currently having to simply be very mindful about when you are crossing. There's another pack. Just out, out of pure curiosity, let's move over here. And yep, that's not working yet, but that's fine. We are positioning ourselves up here. They can't follow us up here. All right, moving up. And moving up. So we're taking the high ground for now. Come on, those guys definitely would want to move into uh, explosion range. That is not bad at all. I think we can get the sectoid. Yeah, I suppose I'll take that. Getting rid of him and only having one activated uh, trooper is good enough for me. I can always get rid of the trooper a little bit later. Grenadier moves and takes uh, the front line and Diva up here. It's just waiting. He is just waiting for now. And we still have concealment, so that guy is probably just going to run to the next pack because that's usually what they are doing when they're injured. Or, in that case, he decides uh, to quote unquote cheat a little bit and just runs into us for no good reason. He didn't even know where we are. But that's okay. Well, it's actually not okay, but I'm so used to it by now that I'm not even minding it. That's what you get. We lose our concealment. Got a nice ambush kill. We'll take our cover behind full cover. And that's an overwatch. We can now go and kill both of the towers, which will take a little bit longer. I will reposition. The patrol is coming. Very nice if that patrol moves to here. We can get it. Just realizing, did I really forget the school check? Holy shit. Well, that's bad. We can still get the um, Advent Officer on the next mission um, since the Black Side facility will um, free up uh, the, the alien encryption as well. We actually do not have a problem with that. Interestingly enough, we're seeing the chosen for the uh, for the second time now. Yeah, this time we do have a reaper with us, so we should be fine. 
We can spot her out before she spots us. Heads up out there. It's the Elder's assassin, and she's moving into the AO. Well, that didn't go according to plan. Luckily, we are behind cover here, so we're not immediately uh, being spotted out. Now this here could be a good start. Optimizing our action economy by reloading first. We're not going to move out of full cover. We are going to get rid of their cover. Unfortunately, did not kill him. But luckily, I invested into Lightning Hands. So that's a secure kill. One down. Following up by the Advent Stun Lancer. Diva does his job. Very nice. Need to get a tiny bit closer, can we? Could go to here. Okay. First moves were pretty easy. The latter ones are a bit harder. Trying to not end in complete open terrain here. And I'm trying to not shoot through full cover either, but it seems I have very limited options here. Yeah, not really a great option either of uh, these. We just have a tiny bit too little of movement rate, to be honest. And this here is it's a pretty bad position. I mean, we could do it. And our backup plan, if we're unsuccessful, he has five hit points, is using the Claymore and killing him with the Claymore. There now. Because I do have a backup plan, and only because I do have a backup plan, this here is something that I'm even considering. If I did, if I would not have had a backup plan, I would definitely, and under no circumstances, have done that move. I am at your service. Yeah, we're reloading. And let's wait for the assassin. We got all of the four patrols, which means plus the assassin and the two towers, we're pretty much good to go. There is going to be one more pack inside. Yeah, this here looks like a decent place. No chosen yet. All right. Which means we're going to reload. Overwatch doesn't really do us any good.
At the same time, in case a normal pack comes along, it also doesn't hurt to overwatch. Just taking the movement to here. And as you can see, I positioned everyone in sort of movement range to one another. The two up here can um, get one another up if the assassin really jumps them. And vice versa down here, anyone can really jump down there. So that's important. Uh, because she theoretically could emerge from the shadows. Second movement, she should end up somewhere here. So now it counts. Um, it's a typical situation where she would try to hide somewhere. I go what I needed. Somewhere here, maybe. Yeah, this here could be a very likely position. As you order, Commander. Unsuccessful. All right. Like I said, Overwatch doesn't really help us. We activated the tower, but. There's no penalty for doing that. She could also be over here, to be honest. That's the problem. You cannot protect against all her movements. And there she is. Yeah, Diva takes some damage. It's dazed. You gotta hate her so much. She was over here, by the way. She just had a lot of movement range, and since she doesn't care about high ground, she basically just jumped, jumped down, and that's about it. All right, revive. Alright, she's probably going to use Vanishing Winds again. Can't really do much with the Reaper here. But we definitely could use High Ground and Flanking for her. That's uh, by far the best position. 100% chance. And Shredding will take her armor away. So she's likely, likely, going to use her grenade or harbor wave. There is the blinding grenade. Fair enough. Doesn't really help her, to be honest, though. We got a nice position on her. Oh, that is not a superficial wound. Believe me, when we're done with you, there ain't no superficial wounds for you anymore. Good. We know that the more we're going to hit her, the better. 
because she got Bewildering Wounds, which will kick in right now for three hits or more. Of course, she dodges that one. She has so much movement. This will be a 100% shot, but probably not a kill. We do have the chance, I mean, the damage is high, and we do have a pretty damn good chance for a crit, considering she's a chosen, so let's see if that plays out. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, the Vector Rifle, once it crits, it has a very nice crit multiplier. And that combined with the additional damage uh, from Bewildering Wounds is some very decent damage. Okay, Chosen eliminated. So far we're doing reasonably well. Time for Restealth. And since we're now in concealment again, I would like to move up. The towers are next. Moving over here. Over here. Quote unquote standard position again. I think the position overall was pretty damn good. Point person in full cover. Two people on high ground. And the person at full cover has an advanced stock, which means even if that person misses, um, they will deal damage. One of the packs came from the inside. That's why that door is open. So that's not an indication for another pack. Yeah, using all of the time that we do have efficiently, so reloading whenever needed. We have no more stealth, um, which means, if possible, I'd like to keep our Reaper stealthed. We're also out of um, healing. We only had one charge. And we're down to one grenade. Other than that, we're doing well. Not much damage that we have taken. Surprisingly little. The only one, the only point of damage that we've taken was from the Chosen. And we're down one, two, three, four. Um, oh, come on. Four of the patrols outside here. And we got the two towers in range, so those can be killed as well. Once we're done with them, there's one more pack inside. At least one more pack inside, I should say. It's the typical pack two troopers plus this uh, plus a mech. And really depending on whether or not we're lucky, there's often a pack of Vipers as well. Uh, like I said, I haven't done the Blackside facility that early. And clearly the packs that are here are only the ones that theoretically can spawn in game at the moment. In month number two, you can get stun lances. I think you can already get a max, so that's not out of uh, the uh, possibilities. You definitely can get towers, as you know. We already had them on the normal missions.
There we go. Very nice. Armor still holding. Come on it. Go get some. My turn on watch. Good. So far so good. The combination of Reaper and Sniper without a timed mission is a really helpful one for us here. Remote start has killed four. No, five. That sector has also been killed by remote start, so five. We had the sniper eliminate like two towers, two soldiers here and effectively dealt a lot of damage to the chosen one. So yeah, that combination is strong, very strong. This is an extremely well equipped mechanized combat unit. We'll need to look for vulnerabilities. There's our target. There is the pack that I was talking about earlier. No one will close. They're usually just running around inside here and kind of trying to do their best to protect the sample. And there's another pack with the sectoid over here. Okay, good. So two packs. I guess that's fine for now. Um, move to here, moving down to here so that we can open the door, move to here, bit of a reloading. Yeah, and we don't need to open the door right now. I will just position ourselves here so that we do have a nice little um, long view uh, to the inside. To be honest, full cover here and full cover here sounds like a good idea. Far enough away so that we're not going to need to fear any anything, they need to come to us and not the other way around. Opening the door. If I'm not mistaken, there was a huge, there was a huge remote start over here. We can use that to our advantage. That would be awesome. Yeah, this one here can be exploded. Yeah. Oh yeah. So moving has to here. May need to open a door. They are running into us, that's fine. We can take them on. If they are just continuing to patrol, that's fine as well. That's by far the toughest pack that's left. So might as well do what we need to do, which is 
killing both of the troopers and severely injuring the Mac. All right, everyone is waiting for the Mac to do something. Mac just runs back, and that's fine. Not a big deal. Mac now partners up with the others. Mac is not yet in range. Uh, for the remote start. Well, let's hope that they are coming out and that the remote start will basically kill all of them. Nice, got another remote start. If the mech is moving in that direction, I'll be fine with it as well. Yeah, there is a lot of heavy cover over here. Trying to just get a tiny bit closer to give our snipers some good aiming angles into it because we could always continue spying out the mech and then just dumping a few shots into it. Alright, so far so good. Mech definitely decides to cheat a little bit and just move up. But I know how to deal with that. We're just going to move a tiny bit back outside of the range of the Mac. This here's a nice spot. Good. If the mech runs towards us, we're going to definitely get the overwatch shots. And it should die. Seems to be unwilling to give up. The AI knows that we are generally in this direction and it does what it can to not trigger us. That sectoid, by the way, needs to definitely move over there. Gosh, sometimes I hate uh, the AI for essentially just for being dishonest. An alien patrol. There we go, that's the last pack finally. Of course, the mag positioned in the literally only position 
where the sniper wouldn't have line of sight. In here we would directly trigger it would already directly trigger the mech. Interestingly enough, it found a position where all of the covered spots will not trigger it. <laughs> That's not bad. That's some really nice vision control. All right. Let's see if we can cheese her or it. We now do have a squad site on the Mac. And although it's not great from a perspective of the odds, nice. It was essentially a no regret move because it couldn't couldn't compete with us. Moving up, and let's see if we can get the last pack. As you order, Commander. Advanced speed is very, very nice, and the advanced laser side isn't bad either. Good. Moving a bit up. We've lost sight on the last pack. Let's first of all re-establish vision before we're doing anything. Interestingly enough, uh, the door here is open. Strange. They might move all the way around to the right hand side. That's affirmative. Position confirmed. Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. The last time we saw them was right here. Alright, they're definitely not there. Reload Overwatch, just a normal Overwatch and Overwatch. I want to find them before we're risking anything. If we were to grab it, that would reveal us. So we're not going to do that yet. Okay, it seems as if they would be right here. Although that uh, sounded like vipers, to be honest. Pretty often, they are also just hiding up here. Specifically kind of in the back there. Like right here. There's a pack here. Any 
in a very nice death zone on that side of the building. So we're going to take the right hand side, Confirmed. mainly because I can remote start. Let's close the doors, to move up. Well, so much for closing the doors. Okay, we're trying to engage something over here so that I can remote start. There are two enemies over here. And enemies always, almost always stand adjacent to one another. There's a third enemy here, so that's where the pack is at at the moment. Let's see. So that will go right up to the window, which would just barely be not enough. Okay, fair enough. What's over there? Good copy, moving on target. Moving out. Okay, let's yeah, let's wait for them to come around. Now they are all in the explosive zone. That's what I was hoping for. And that finishes the deal. Maybe it has not been a pack of vipers there. Maybe I've just misheard the sound. No one here. And let's climb up here. No one there either. Okay. I don't think that we're alone yet. Elsewise, there wouldn't be any enemy movement. Hmm, well, that was awkwardly fast, so maybe we are alone here. On my way. I see three corpses. Evex zone is over there. Okay, good, good. On the move. In which case, we can already start moving over. Thanks to Remote Start, this entire mission has been possible. It's not too far. All right, moving to the exit zone. Good. Let's pick up the vial. There we go. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. We've 
All right, we know that there are reinforcements incoming. Moving up here. And we're going to overwatch because we need to kill the reinforcements. Unfortunately, the evac zone is too far away to simply run. But I'm positioning in a way so that we can flank whoever is coming from the evac zone in case they make it out alive. All right, let's see. It's probably going to be a mech and a trooper or something. Well, close enough. Come on, I need the good old long shot. Ah. You just gotta hate when that happens. Moving over, and let's hope we can one-shot this guy. Very nice. It's one down. 45%, not necessarily that nice, but we can start removing his cover. I hate stun lances, officially. That's not going to kill all of the cover, but it will half his cover. Oh well, we're lucky. It is actually going to kill all of the cover. Divad already got his promotion, so might as well give it to Sergei here. There's his promotion. Reload. Overwatch. And there's the next pack of reinforcements. Yeah, again, we can't flee in such a short amount of time. Reloading Overwatch. Moving over to here so that we can theoretically reach wherever they are going to flee to. I'd like to reload and overwatch and since the... Nah, we're just going to snipe overwatch. If it hits, it will hit hard, much harder than the pistol. So what are we dealing with? Same pack again. I've got eyes on advent troops. Come on. Well, that is unfor very unfortunate. Alright, moving to here. Let's kill the trooper. Unfortunately, we do not have another 
cover removal, but we can flank over here. That should kill the officer. It is better to position ourselves over here. That's actually one of uh, the better positions. 90%. Come on. Stun Lancer takes solid 4 points of damage. It's only a 50-50 chance to hit him. That piece here is in the way, that full cover. Are we sure that this here is going to be a flanking position? It seems, I mean, it seems like it could be a flanking position, but it seems awkward. Seems like one of those preview bugs. Yeah. Pretty sure that that's not a thing. Probably is the 50-50 is probably the best uh, that we can do. Still up. We could also flashbang him. Making it unlikely that he hits. Or we try to kill him. If we flashbang him... He's going to take a shot, and since uh, we're we are currently flanked, it's going to most likely hit anyway. So I'll go for the more risky maneuver that paid off in this particular uh, course. It was a fifth, really a fifth, truly a fifty-fifty. Um, could have gone either way. Good. So the only thing that sucks uh, with that mission is we haven't used uh, the skull check on an advent officer. That was definitely a blunder. But we haven't lost time because we're still getting the um, alien encryption. 25, like I mentioned, pretty average mission, uh, plus uh, the chosen, which, yeah, was... Uh, pretty uh, good black side mission. All right, and by good I mean it was some solid XCOM Ming. Um, I think that could have been even a guide video on how to approach the black side mission. I'm seeing that people are struggling with it, and this is really just ballistic weapons for people, literally. Uh, Literally squatties in uh, in the pack here a couple of corporals. So on average everyone was a corporal Luckily for us We get a specialist Who's now trained with medical protocol, which is absolutely great uh, We could get suppression or demolition. I like suppression, but given that we are in such a Disadvantageous position. I'm taking demolition to remove cover and let's see what else we could do. Kill zone, <laughs> yeah, not the type of ability that you want on your Reaper. Uh, shrapnel with massive increase in damage and uh, just radius is phenomenal. 
Uh, we don't have a training center, which means the um, extra XCOM ability points currently are, so to speak, reserved for our um, Reaper only. Uh, the permanent visibility isn't bad. I like it. But I think we're going for Blood Trail, just because we're lacking weapon damage. And uh, very soon on Lieutenant rank, we can get Silent Killer. Uh, which we're going to go for next. So Blood Trail it is. Theoretically we could go with Target Definition as well, but I generally have a good understanding where the enemies are, plus Target Definition slows down the gameplay a bit, because you guys would see every single movement of uh, the enemy. So it's it's also a bit quality of life um, decision not to do it uh, advanced speed could be something for the templar could be something for the reaper as well we got two repeaters that's absolutely fantastic um, because uh, we can use them and we got alien encryption right there uh, that is fine because it will just slow down the avatar progr uh, progress not that it matters for us a lot and a lot of supplies which is great as well would have loved to get my hands on um, on more intel though. Let's go for that research. Nine days, which is good. And afterwards we're going for Shadow Chamber. Still need to think about how we can get more power. Because I'm not sure if we really have the plus two power perk. Mm. I'll send word. I think we didn't have that. And since we did not have that, so now you should understand why I've kept my people away from their How long would how long would a power relay take? So that's 24 days. Let's build the power relay just to be safe. With that, 24 days, 21 days pretty close. Um, it means as soon as the alien debris will be cleared, we can build the uh, shadow chamber and right afterwards the GTS. So that's good. I like it. Resistance ring upgrade would be a hundred, but we can't afford the power at the moment at the moment. So that's a no, no. Yeah, and experimental ammunition. We just started with that. Okay, I would say overall we're doing fine. We still need to um, use the school jack. We pretty much sped that up quite a bit. And we still need to use it in order to have something to research in the shadow chamber. But since the shadow chamber doesn't like immediately pop up, as you see, we do have a few more days. Uh, there is still enough room for us to, quote unquote, not lose any time. We're at April 11, soon the second uh, supply drop is happening. I am continuing with Intel because we need really a lot of Intel to make contact. And there's another mission for 18. Mwah, perfect. And an engineer. Oh, even better. Recover resistance operative. And this is, exact, this is exactly what we need right now. So that's the perfect mission before the end of the month. Let's have a look. Uh, we can get Wrath in there. Basically making him the carry of uh, this entire run. Could try to um, get more XP on Wrath. Um, is it worthwhile using another uh, the specialist for another time? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, we would have Sharpshooter or Grenadier ready and Ranger. So that gives us uh, the ability to kind of broaden our roster and get more Corporals as well. Just not falling for the tire trap for now. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Anyways, looking at kind of beginning of April and so far it looks good for us. I'm trying my uh, very best to not fail at anything here. 
Um, it's promising with 80 additional Intel, we would be at 160. That's good. Uh, we need 320 to get one of uh, the bigger targets um, uh, basically freed up, unless it spawns closer to us, in which case we only would need um, 240 Intel. So uh, that uh, almost per, uh, buys us uh, the access to another large location, which is fantastic. That's good. It looks very, very promising so far. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you enjoy content like this, um, consider subscribing and also consider leaving a like or a comment down below. Thanks and see you soon. Bye-bye.